Hey everybody, welcome back to dancefair.com as well as fairrealestate.com. I told you guys back in January, and today is February 9th, 2015. I told you back in January that one of my New Year's resolutions was in order to better myself as a business person, as an entrepreneur, as a realtor, as an investor, was to read a book a month and do a video review. Well, in January, I read not one, which was The Art of Social Media, not two, which was The Freak Shell Inherit the Earth by Chris Brogan, but three books in January. So I'm well ahead of my goal. In fact, I'm so far ahead, I think I want to continue this with doing at least two book reviews a month and reading two books a month. Um, so stay tuned for future books. This book review is called The Education of a Coach. It's written by David Halberstam, the late David Halberstam. Actually, he died a few months after this book was released. So this book is all about Bill Belichick. And I'm not a Patriots fan at all. I am a sports fan. I'm a huge fan of sports. Not a Patriots fan by any means. I like the 49ers. I like the Chargers. But this book made me really respect Bill Belichick a lot. And I know that seems counterintuitive to what a lot of you guys are thinking. A lot of people label him as a cheater. I'm not going to get into that. I think the guy's clearly very competitive. Uh, this book gives you a great idea, cheater or not of why he's been successful and you can argue that spygate which actually this book does not talk about spygate or the most the more recent scandal with the uh, deflated footballs you can argue whether those help the Patriots win some games I don't think so I think it's just a testament to how Bill Belichick is prepared so much more than everyone else that you would think that he would even be concerned with the air pressure in some footballs so this book is really good. I mean, it, it has a lot of parallels to business. If you think about it, sports, especially coaching, has a lot of parallels to business. Number one is obviously winning and competing. But number two, more importantly, I think, is managing and having a team, building a team, growing a team, leading them to victory or to defeat, but leading the team nonetheless and getting the team members uh, on your side and to see things your way. And that's one thing Bill Belichick did really well amongst other things. So in short, my recommendation is yes, you need to buy this book. Even if you're not a sports fan, it's one of the best biographies I've ever read. One of the best biographies, period. Sports, history, um, celebrities, just one of the best biographies I've read, period. And Bill Belichick has a lot of interesting, there are a lot of interesting things that you can take away from this book and translate to the business world. Uh, Belichick's general defensive philosophy was simple. Find out what the other guys do best, which is what they always want to do, especially under pressure in a big game. Take it away from them and make them do things that, are, that they are uncomfortable with. So most coaches and actually most entrepreneurs look for the weaknesses and their opponents and then try to exploit the weaknesses. Well, what Bill Belichick does is actually look at where his opponents are very comfortable in and try to take those areas away from that. So think about how that could apply to the business world, right? Instead of always being on the on the defensive, you're on the offensive. And how did this work? It is really amazing to see just the level of preparation that Bill Belichick took took when it came to preparing himself and his team for the opponents. So another highlight, and I have a lot of highlights in this book, but another highlight, I'm gonna read it here, it just talks a little bit about preparation and knowledge. The thing that in the end generated respect was not necessarily a loud and commanding or threatening voice, but knowledge. Players respected coaches who can help them play better and who knew things that they didn't know. That more than anything else he believed is what defines successful player coach relationships. So if you take that and you translate that to the business world, you can see that if you're a leader, the most successful leaders, and I can vouch for this personally, the most successful leaders are not the ones who will write you up or will threaten you or are the ones that people are scared of. Yes, that does work, but those are short term results. The real results, what we're all should be striving for is actually providing value to your team. So what Bill Belichick did, because he was so prepared, 
He knew he knew everything about the other team. He knew exactly where to exploit them. He knew everything about his personnel. He was much better prepared than anyone else on most given Sundays. That he actually made his players better. He provided value for them. I think as an entrepreneur, we should be doing the same thing for our employees. We should actually help them grow in the industry and we shouldn't be afraid of ha helping them grow their careers because uh, as you'll see with Bill Belichick, a lot of his players actually stayed with him for the duration of their careers like Tom Brady. There's other people out there that are have just been lifetime patriots because they bought into the system and I think that's something we can take away from this book and from the Bill Belichick approach uh, when it comes to business. A couple more things. Uh, so one more thing. So they talk about the salary cap. There's a lot of good business stuff in regards to football here. Uh, the salary cap was very important in the way Kraft, which is the Patriots owner, looked at the game. It was a ceiling that all owners, the very, very rich, and the merely very, very rich had to live with. Kraft had become an owner only after the salary cap was imposed. Um, and Belichick was different from most other coaches because he made it his business to know as much as he could about the cap. And uh, he did not instinctively want to pour all his resources into this team as quickly as he could. He did not think that the future was now and took care not to become, as the phrase went, capped out, trading the future for the present. So that is... My, my philosophy, really, and it, I didn't learn it from Bill Belichick, but it just confirmed a lot of the same things I believe in. Invest for your future. Uh, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You don't, you don't just put everything into one opportunity. You look at, and, and this is especially true when it comes to providing value for your clients so, or your superiors, um, but in the entrepreneurship world, it's your clients. So Bill Belichick... His superior was Robert Kraft. He gave him a lot of value because he was prepared. He knew all about the salary cap. In fact, he knew it better than Robert Kraft. So he was able to help Robert Kraft make these business make these business decisions about the roster and the team every year. And he made himself valuable to Robert Kraft. He made himself irreplaceable. And I think as entrepreneurs, we need to make ourselves irreplaceable to our clients by providing them so much value and if possible by being much more knowledgeable about even their business than they are so a lot of good takeaways from this book out of on a scale of 1 to 10 i give it a 9 out of 10 fantastic i just wish they would have covered some more things about spygate in there uh, because there's nothing in there actually about spygate so great book the education of a coach bill belichick's biography one of the best biographies i've ever read Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next book review coming up. This is DanSfera.com and SferaRealEstate.com. Take care.